Howdy Figma users, I'm back with a solution on how to fix Figma preserve scroll position issues. So, so I had previously made this video describing the issue that I, that I ran into and I had not been able to solve it yet. I have solved it and I've seen other people talking about it now, but I'm going to show you what I did to solve it and a cup and a comparison for, uh, the previous way state position worked and the new way. So previously, um, my last discussion on this was for this prototype, which one day I had, uh, I was, I was working on the prototyping and I updated it to the new state management system. So, um, which created the issue that, and I just didn't know about it. So, let me show you that on this one, because this one has not been updated yet. So if I click this, you can see right here, state management, preserve score position, old state management in use. So since that's the case, um, yeah, it, 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 and I run, if I run this and we start here, so one, two, next, and then I, I, I made these two pages much longer. So I scroll down a little bit and it takes me back to the top and I click that. So in the old state management way, if I go back to that, these two, and I click this and I say preserve. Now, if I, if I run through that again, one, two, this page is long. I click that and I preserve that scroll position because both of these pages are the same height and I told it to preserve between these two. What changed in the new state management pos uh, positioning is that preserve scroll position is now the default if the frames have the same exact name. So I'm gonna live update this one on the, uh, right here, right now, to show you how that works. First, let me jump back over to this other one first. So now the way I have these set up is they all, I don't have to tell it to, to be, um, to preserve scroll position. It automatically does it because of this, how I named the frames. They're all called abstract submission. And if you want to have a distinguisher between them, you put a right slash and you add something. So I put the, the frame number in this progression. Is that better or worse? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's okay. You don't you don't have to put a distinguisher between them. So let's let's do that here. So right now, let's do the update. Preserve scroll position. Let's upgrade our state management. Reset scroll position. See, I don't need that anymore. Oh, I have to do each one one by one. There's probably a way to do it. Uh, update. No, I'm in the wrong tool. Update state. I don't know. Let's take a look. Click that. Update that. Uh, let's take grab that and update that one. Let's try this. What happens if I update that? Reset scroll position and run it from this prototype. So this is the long one, yeah. So I click that and it takes me back to the top. Okay, that's what I expect. So th this prototype is a little bit different because I made, it's basically the exact size of my um, viewport, except for these two that I made much longer. Or if I go over here to this one. So since they, I'm updating the, state management, there's probably a faster way to do this that I don't know about. State management, note, state interactive, so position interactive, state reset, matching objects, nested, oh, update, there we go. Uh, let's see, interactive components, preserve scroll position, click on, a prototype connection to open the right click update. To update all interactions, there we go, 501 to right click on the canvas and select update all. 
interactions. That's what we want to do. Right click that. This canvas. What's the canvas? Education. I don't see it. To update all interactions in a file at once, right click on the canvas and select update all interactions. I don't see that. Click that. Remove interactions. Click that. Remove. Remove interactions. this video I don't know okay but let's resize these to get them back to the, to the same size as the others okay this is where I uh, I can change these names now so I'm gonna change it to practice exam actually practice exam slash so one copy that go here Two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, I guess what's five, six. Hmm. Oh, I guess I can. Uh, something besides a number two uh, results filtered and then my boxes my pop-ups and, and all I don't know let's see if that works practice exam of one okay start this will probably won't have any issues because they're all the same height not until maybe the end ah once I'm on this page. So one thing I can do is toggle, toggle this one maybe. Okay, so I think it preserves scroll position even after I toggled those. Didn't bring me back to the top, which, ah, preserve, preserve scroll, let's update that. Hmm. How's that gonna work between, since it's a pop-up, let's see. Exam results, okay, so I'm here. I see the exam results. I can open topics, I can select anything. This doesn't actually filter it. And then I hit apply. Okay, so I think it stayed in the same position because I have been, the layers, the frames, named the same thing. I did see a little bit of a jump, which might be just my alignment on, in the file. Let's see. This is 88 tall, that's 80, that's 24. This is 88 tall, 64. Oh, there's the problem. 80, 64. So if I bump that back up, that should solve that. Okay, so now if I just go back and forth, results and result, you can see the difference. All right, let's fix that to be results. Now let's go back and look. These are still off. those up. There we go. I had to build it this way to to show um, how it works. Man. All right. So that solves. Let's go. To, uh, let's open up topics. Let's look at those. Apply. And scroll position is the same. Um, 
here's an here's how we can see how that would work otherwise. So let's do that reset scroll position. So now if I go here, hit refresh, I scroll down some, I open topics, I click whatever, I put supply, it takes me back to the top. So that's an example of how the new state management works. So what I don't have here is, um, so I guess, okay, so if I previously had preserved scroll position checked, it's still gonna function correctly until I hit update. But I don't, yeah, I don't have to check anything. So now I just need to figure out how to update all state management <laughs> for all of them. I just don't know how. Time's up, that doesn't matter. In one fell swoop. Yeah. Oh wait, did I just press revert on that? Yeah. All right, that solves that problem. So hopefully you found this useful. Um, I, I previously had, this was my previous example. I, had to, I needed to distinctly show each frame one by one for testers and for dev, and then same thing here. Um, but that's the new Figma state management between frames. I think it'll do the job and I hope that helps you.